Jesus the divine word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word, be flesh. From the beginning, you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father, and with the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word, made flesh. You came to our word to save us and show us how to live and love here, so, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word, incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, we may, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, that least of them most of all. For us, we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Kison City. Today is Monday of the second week of Ordinary Time. Our, our Mass Presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Biltran is PD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we celebrate the Eucharist, to praise, honor, worship, thank, be sorry for our sins, and ask for petitions, let us first acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, who is the God of the future. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth as we journey towards the fullness of the kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine word made flesh, leading us into everlasting life in the future. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, 
Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made the representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you were a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days when he was in flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You were a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord will stretch from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You were a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. We honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a 
piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak. If he does, its fullness pulls away the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wine skins. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. We pray that God's grace will fill our hearts today. New wine, new wine skins. Why? Because our God is the God of the future. In Exodus 3.15, when Moses asked the burning bush, what is your name? What shall I say to the Israelites your name is? And Yahweh said, Eye, Esher, Eye, in Hebrew. It is usually translated, I am who I am. But the new hermeneutics, the new interpretation, going back to the Hebrew context is, I shall be there as who I am shall be there. That is the meaning of Eye, Esher, Eye. Our God is the God of the future. He's always ahead. And that's why when he led the Israelites through the desert, he appeared to them as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Always ahead. In Isaiah, he also said through the mouth of the prophet, Behold, I make all things new. In Isaiah 65, he makes promises. There will come a time when everything will be fulfilled. When no more infants will die. And the old shall dream dreams according to Joel. And when he came through his son, we are also told that the fulfillment will come in the future. Matthew 25. When the Son of Man, at the end of time, will come down with his angels in all his glory, he will ask everyone, I was hungry, you did not give me food. Fulfillment is in the future. According to Revelations, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And in Revelations also, God said, Behold, I make all things new. So our faith corresponds to what science is saying to us. That there was a big bang and then exploded and the universe is not static. It is dynamic. It is evolving. It is always in process. From physical matter, life came, then consciousness came, and then self-reflection came. That's all. And Tyre Dissertant said, ultimate goal is God will be all in all. And since our faith tells us, science tells us, that the universe, the world we live in, is evolving, dynamic, in process, New wine, new wine skins. Look at the future. And adapt to the fast changes. That's what our faith is telling us. Our forefathers also told us kung anong tugtog, yun isasayaw mo. Ang problema natin ngayon, Iba na tugtog ng mga Generation Z, tsa-tsa at tango pa rin ang pinipilit pa rin sila. Educational system natin, halimbawa. 
PDF pa rin. Ang metaphors ng educational system, not only here, but all over the world, still first industrial revolution, fourth industrial revolution na ngayon. Artificial intelligence, robotics, blockchain technology, internet of things, quantum computing. 200 years ago pa rin yung metaphors natin. Sa ating katiketik, sa ating pagtingin sa reality, makaluma. We're also already starting to teach the young people agricultural technology, sensors in the soil, drones, so that you can... Pag pumunta ka sa mga magsasaka, ang sasabihin sa'yo, Father, dito na bumukay ang aming mata, dito na rin siguro sa sara, sa mga bata, ano lang yan. So wala nang nagsasaka ng mga bata dahil ayaw nila mag-araro. May bago na silang alam eh. Wala na tayong makain, lagi tayong nag-i-import. Tanda na yung ating mga magsasaka. 58 years old average. Sabi rin ni Pope Francis, digital evangelization na ngayon para marating natin yung mga bata. Ay baka sa mga seminaryo, ang training, Vatican II pa, 1963, nagbago na ang simbahan. Sinabi na the world, Gaudium et Spes, paragraph 5, the world has moved from a static to a dynamic understanding. So sabi ni Pope Francis, digital evangelization. So we would like you to pray for our seminarians. We are training them to be cyber missionaries, digital missionaries with the skills to communicate clearly the gospel to Generation Z who spend hours on their cell phones. So in my class, In cosmology, cosmetology yung sabi ng bagong bishop namin dito na rector. Cosmology and quantum physics. I already give the seminarians a taste of immersive learning. Yung meron kang Oculus Quest to na galing sa meta, 3D po yan. Immersive po yan. Naglalakbay ka doon sa International Space Station in sa space. Nagtuturo ang nagabi ngayon, marine engineering, naglalakbay, nasa kwarto lang sila, naglalakbay ang mga estudyante inside a ship, tapos yung mga levers, yung mga pipindutin, yun, ni-explain na doon. Hindi ka na kailangan pumunta sa, sa mga, eh, vapor. New wine, new wine skins. So let us pray today that we will learn the lesson and apply it in our lives. New wine, new wine skins. Nagbago ng panahon, umangkup ka doon. Nagbago ang tugtog, baguhin mo yung sayaw mo. Yun ang sinasabi sa atin. Kaya lang, maraming mga may edad-edad na sasabihin, Naku, nung panahon pa namin, yung mga bata, mababait. Panahon ninyo yun. Tulungan mong maging mabait yung mga bata ngayon in the face of AI and quantum computers and uh, internet of things. Iyan sinasabi ng Ebanghelya ngayon. So let us have also, as Pope Francis called for a digital evangelization, let us ask the Lord today in this Eucharist that we will have a digital spirituality. Bago na umaraw. It is characterized, tinuturo ko sa mga estudyante, by it is VUCA. Volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous. That's what reality is now. Kailangan turuan natin yung mga bata kasi ang galing-galing yan. Sa computers, sa digital devices, But they are ruthless and empty without our faith. Kaya ang daming nag-emotional distress. 
Kaya maraming mental health problems sa mga kabataan. Wala anang matungtungan. Napakabilis ng pagbabago. Gusto nila umangkop doon. Pero kung wala kang matungtungan na tamang worldview, pananampalataya, many of them, lagi kong sinasabi rito, naguguluhan ako. Sabi ng UP, many of them are thinking of ending their lives dahil hindi na nila kaya. Let's pray for them today. But let us also pray for ourselves. New wine, new wine skins, tuturo sa atin ng Panginoon kung paano may sa buhay ang pananampalataya natin. Our faith in the God, the future, should shape the way we live out our lives in this fast-changing age. New wine, new wine skins. Let us pray to the God who is absolute future, who will create the new heavens and the new earth at the end of time, to give us new eyes to see what the future holds. Because as Billy, Billy Graham said, let us not be insecure. We do not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. Prayers of the faithful. My sisters and brothers, let us pray to the God of the future that He may bring us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world because He said, new wine, new wine skins. Let our response be, Lord of the future, renew us. that the church, the people of God and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the future, renew us. That those who are invested with executive, legislative, and judicial functions in society may consistently place the good of human beings above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the future, renew us. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the future, renew us that we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the future, renew us. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to find cure as soon as possible so that those already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmission we pray, Lord of the future, future, that the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of the future, renew us. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and teach us the art of living in a world that is changing very fast because we are a new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ who will come at the end of time. Our Lord forever and ever. Amen.
pray. My sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. We will pray special Eucharistic prayer number two. God guides his church along the way to the future. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and the God of the future. For you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert as a pillar of cloud by day and as a pillar of fire by night. Now, as your church makes her pilgrim journey, in the modern world, you always accompany her by the power of the Spirit and lead her along the paths to the future, to the eternal joy of your kingdom, to Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. glorified Lord our God because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey to the future. Blessed indeed is your Son, the Divine Word, Alpha and Omega, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens scriptures and breaks the bread in the Eucharist. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing. He broke the bread gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this so that you will always remember me. Thus proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, most holy Father, <clears throat> as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand and will come again in glory at the end of time, we proclaim the work of your love till he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of eternal blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of your spirit, the spirit of love, we may be counted now and until the day of the new heaven and the new earth among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity. So that together with Francis of Pope and Onesto of Bishop, with all bishops, priests and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways towards the future with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the modern world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in their resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is over that we may come to an eternal dwelling place in the new heavens and the new earth. We will live with you forever. And there, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Arnold Johnson and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven. Let us pray that his kingdom will come in the prayer Jesus the divine word himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The divine word became a human being, saved us from our sins, and will come again at the end of time to inaugurate the new heavens and the new earth in the future. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour on us, God of the future, the spirit of your love and your kindness. Make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, as the journey to the fullness of your kingdom. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for grace amid transition. Almighty and ever living God, we pray for the courage and compassion to embrace new beginnings and rise from any crisis. We continue to ask for your protection and guidance so that with your healing hand we may overcome our effect of this pandemic and any other crisis that may cross our path. Guide our health workers so that your healing love and strength may flow through their hands. Guide our leaders so that truth and empathy may be in the their service. Guide our spiritual frontliners so that they may help us find fervor and guide us to spread God's love and peace amid the chaos and suffering. May your church be a sign of hope comfort and love to all, to all in the enduring during the dark times of our history. history. As, As we embrace and change the world and go into the future, we implore you to fill our hearts and be the one with you more than more ever. Than ever. We, we look forward, forward renewed and strengthened to celebrate, celebrate for whatever lies, lies ahead. For it, it is only by your grace, Lord, Lord in the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary that, that we may pursue, pursue all, all this these endings, endings and beginnings. We ask you this yes, through Christ, through our, Christ Lord. our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Starting January 15, 2023, January is national, as National Bible Month. Also, the Shrine celebrates its annual Shrine Fiesta and the National Bible Sunday with the theme Yes, salita. Matibay na pananampalataya, matatag na pamilya. Our shrine activities are as follows. Ridu Mass of Jesus the Divine Word, January 18 to 20, 6 p.m. Second, the Yusisan Bible Festival, January 21, 2023, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. On January 22, Solemn Fiesta Mass, 11.30 a.m. Bring your family together. Let's celebrate Fest Sanita. Starting January 22, 2023, the 10 a.m. Mass will be moved to an earlier slot, 9.30 a.m., which will also be called Pilgrim's Mass. No more 10 a.m. Mass on Sunday. Thank you and God bless. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the God of the future bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Go in peace to journey towards the new heaven and the new earth. Thanks be to God. Oh